program, combination, and set list. Programs are accessed in program mode. There are more than 2,000 sound programs, and they can be selected in a few different ways. The ink deck buttons, the dial, or the numeric keypad, for example. The Kronos has an ability that no other keyboard has. You can change from one sound to another, and the previous sound, including any delay or reverb effects, doesn't suddenly stop. It continues. It's called Smooth Sound Transitions, or SST. Keyboardists have been requesting this for years. And what makes Kronos unique is that you can do this with programs, combinations, songs, and set list entries, and you don't have to be in any special mode to do it. And you don't need to reserve half your sounds and effects. It just works. The programs are grouped in banks of 128 that can be selected using these dedicated bank buttons for internal A through G and user A through G. Seven more banks can be accessed by pressing top and bottom buttons simultaneously to access user AA through GG banks. You can also use the screen to select banks and programs. Touch the pop-up button to the left of the program name. The tabs on the left select the banks. Touch here to access the AA through GG banks, then here to go back. You simply touch the program you want. The scroll bar on the bottom allows access to more programs. Touching Cancel or pressing the Exit button would return you to the previous program. Touching OK will bring you to the main screen of the selected program. The programs are organized in categories. Touch here. There are 16 categories and two user categories. It makes it easy to find a sound in the instrument family you need, for example keyboards, organs, guitars, etc. The categories can be selected with the tabs on the left. There are subcategories as well. Then, as we did before, just touch the sound you want and then OK. This magnifying glass button brings up the Find dialog. You can use Find to search for programs by name. Type in all or part of the name, for example, Wave. Press Find. Use the Next and Previous buttons to step through the programs with Wave in the name. You can also use the Ink and Deck buttons. To exit without selecting a program, touch Cancel or press Exit. When you find the program you want, press OK. This Find feature is available for finding combinations, set lists, wave sequences, and many other Kronos resources, anywhere this magnifying glass icon appears. One of the reasons the Kronos is so powerful is that it has nine sound engines. Sound engines are the technologies used to create a sound. Typically, a keyboard uses one sound engine, usually sample playback technology, to create sounds. The Kronos is much more powerful. Let's take a quick look at the nine sound engines to understand how they work. Of course, the beauty of the Kronos is you can simply select a sound and play it. Everything is done behind the scenes for you. But understanding each sound engine may help you when deciding what sound to use for a particular musical application. This program uses the SGX2 sound engine. The name of the sound engine is here under the program name. It's designed solely to create piano sounds. Because the Kronos uses Korg's virtual memory technology, it can access gigabytes of sample memory in real time from the internal solid state drive. This lets us sample every note at up to 12 velocities with no looping. The SGX2 responds like a real piano, from adjusting the piano lid, to true string resonance, There are three fully sampled pianos, a German D piano, a Japanese C piano, and a Berlin D piano. The Berlin D piano also includes dedicated una corda samples for even greater realism. 
This uses the EP1 sound engine, designed to create electric piano sounds using MDS, multi-dimensional synthesis. After the electric piano is sampled, MDS is able to separate the mechanical noises from the true tonal harmonics, giving separate control over the two. The tonal harmonics are analyzed and put back together in two dimensions, velocity and decay. This makes the velocity and decay of the EP1's Tyne and Reed electric pianos seamless, with no sample looping. Unlike typical samples, MDS allows complete real-time control of the electric piano sound. The EP1 has modeled amp and pedal effects inside the sound engine, separate of the Kronos effects section. In this example, the intensity of the pedal effect is adjusted using the control surface. It's already set to RT knobs, short for real time. Knob 7 controls the intensity. Other pedal effects can be selected here. This organ program uses the CX3 sound engine, a modeled tone wheel organ. Notice that the control surface is already set to tone adjust for full drawbar control. Touching here displays the drawbars. A rotary speaker effect is right inside of the CX3 sound engine, separate of the Kronos effect section. Flicking the joystick forward changes the speed. No need to hold it. It acts like a switch. There are three Kronos sound engines designed for analog synthesis. The MS20EX, the Poly6EX, and the AL1. The MS20EX recreates the unique oscillators, filters, and interface of the legendary Korg MS20 from 1978 plus many new synthesis features. You can move knobs directly on the screen. And connect cables by touching and dragging. In 1981, Korg released the popular Poly 6, recreated here with the Poly 6 EX. You can move knobs directly on the screen as before, and with the control surface set to tone adjust, you have simultaneous hands-on access to every knob and switch. This next analog synthesis sound engine, the AL1, was designed from the ground up to create what an analog synthesizer can be today. Remember, these analog synths use modeling, not sampling, giving you incredible flexibility. In fact, there are three ways to adjust any program. You can go deep into the individual parameters of the sound engines, a sound designer's paradise. By the way, every program has this overview on the top page, showing basic information about the sound engine's settings. For example, here we can see the filter configuration. Touch the graphics to jump directly to that page group. Another way to edit the sound is to use Tone Adjust on the control surface. Each slider, switch, and knob of the control surface can be assigned a parameter. The third way to change sounds is the easiest. Set the control surface to RT knobs and use the eight knobs along the top. Knobs one through four are preset to filter cutoff, filter resonance, envelope generator intensity, and envelope release time. 
the four most common parameters players want to adjust quickly. Knobs 5 through 8 are flexible. They've been assigned to sound-specific functions by Korg's team of programmers, and you can also reassign them as you wish. You'll find that knob 8 usually controls the amount of reverb or delay effect. Knob 7 usually controls the amount of a modulation effect, such as a chorus or flanger. Knobs 5 and 6 will be different for each program depending on what the programmer thought was important to the sound. Since multiple parameters can be adjusted simultaneously with a controller, a simple turn of a knob can completely change the shape of the filter envelope while adjusting the intensity of an LFO that's controlling panning plus add an additional insert effect. Anything is possible. Be sure to experiment with the real-time knobs when playing any program. This next sound engine uses a completely different technology, physical modeling. The STR1 plucked string synth is used to create sounds that are plucked or struck, for example, guitars, basses, bells, electric pianos, and more. Instead of just sampling a guitar note, you can literally design what the string is made of, whether it's plucked, struck, or scraped, even how much the string is dampened. For example, press tone adjust. In this program, knob 1 is set up to control if the player is damping the string or not, and everything in between, all in real time. One of the most popular synth technologies is frequency modulation. Sounds are created by modulating one waveform with another. The Mod 7 Modular Wave Shaping VPM Synth, the next engine we'll look at, takes this technology to a whole new level, allowing not only waveform modulation, but powerful sample modulation and processing. By the way, SW1 in the name refers to Switch 1. Sometimes the name has controller information that's important to the sound. For example, AT for aftertouch, JS minus Y, moving the joystick in the back direction. In this case, SW1 indicates that Switch 1 turns on and off the pad sound. The Mod 7 can create traditional FM sounds like this, but can also create sounds like this. While we're here, let's look at these other controllers. As explained earlier, other than the first four real-time knobs, a controller can be assigned to anything including multiple parameter adjustments at the same time. When I say controller, I mean for example switches 1 and 2, joystick plus and minus X, and plus and minus Y. Other controllers include the ribbon controller, the four directions of the vector joystick, and more. With all these modulation possibilities, a program is really just a starting point for you to experiment with. You'll find they not only offer subtle music performance expression, but will inspire total sound modifications as well. The eight sound engines we just looked at are referred to as EXI. You can see EXI written to the left of the sound engine name here. The next sound engine is the HD1 High Definition Synthesizer. The HD1 is different than the EXI sound engines. Consequently, it's not possible for HD1 programs and EXI programs to exist in the same bank. Any bank, other than the general MIDI banks, can be assigned to HD1 or EXI in Global. We'll look at that in the Global Disk and Management chapter. This sampling and wave sequencing synth takes sample playback to a new level, with superior sound, starting with Korg's proprietary low aliasing sample playback oscillators, full bandwidth multimode resonant filters, and extraordinarily fast and smooth envelopes and LFOs. Plus, virtual memory technology gives the HD1 access to gigabytes of onboard samples in exquisite detail from orchestral brass to aggressive basses, all instantly available. The HD1 also features wave sequencing, the ability to play a series of samples one after another, either rhythmically or smoothly, all lockable to tempo. 
each step can have its own duration and pitch, creating incredible sound movement possibilities. A few more points about programs. A single program can have two EXI sound engines at the same time. For example, this one that uses two AL1 sound engines. Or this one that uses an SGX2 and a Mod 7 to create a beautiful piano and string pad. Also, you will find over 200 song programs in the Kronos, designed for use with particular songs. For example, this one. And finally, every program, no matter what sound engine it uses, has access to a 3-band parametric EQ, 12 insert effects, 2 master effects, and 2 total effects. We'll look at the effects in the sequencer and effects chapter. In combination mode, you have hundreds of combination sounds, or combis as they are sometimes called. As the name implies, a combi is an organization of up to 16 sounds from program mode, with each sound given its own key range and velocity range. The 16 parts of a combi are referred to as timbres. Combis can be simple splits, like this bass and piano. or layers, like acoustic guitar and voices. But there are many more possibilities, as you'll soon discover. Combis are organized in banks of 128, using the same bank buttons used for program mode. And they are selected the same way, using the ink deck buttons, the dial, or the numeric keypad, as well as using the screen to select within banks, or categories. Some of the categories are named the same as some of the program categories, like keyboard, organ, etc. Others are unique to combi mode. For example, combis in the lead split category have a sound or sounds in the lower range for playing chords, and different sounds in the top range for playing leads. I say sound or sounds because it can be as simple as an electric piano in the lower range and a sax in the top range. Or it could be a layer of several sounds on the bottom with a layer of several sounds on the top triggered at different velocities. As you hear, Korg's SST doesn't cut off the previous combi. Like in program mode, each combi has access to 12 insert effects, 2 master effects, and 2 total effects. Each timbre has its own 3-band parametric EQ. Every combi, and program as well, has 8 on-screen pads accessed from the EQ Vector Control page group. Pads tab. You can enter the notes manually here. Or, play the chord, touch chord assign, then touch a pad. By the way, a Korg nanopad can be connected via USB and used to trigger the chord pads. Details are in the PDF manuals and the onboard help system. Once a chord pad has been changed, the combi needs to be saved to retain the changes. You can quickly save the combi over the current location by pressing the Record Write button, then touching OK on the screen to confirm. If you want to rename it before you save it, or save it to a different location, pull down the Page menu and select Write Combination. As we saw in the first chapter, touching T takes you to where you can name the combination. Touch here to choose where you want to save the edited combi. Saving programs is done in exactly the same way. Set lists are designed for performing. They make it simple to play and organize any of the sounds in the Kronos, no matter what bank they're stored in or whether they're programs, combinations, or even songs. 
There are 128 set lists, and each set list has 128 slots, each of which can be assigned to any program combination or song. A set list is like a bank of 128 slots. To select a slot, simply touch the one you want. You can also use the ink deck buttons or the dial. Even an optional foot switch can be assigned to step through the slots. Notice that SST, Smooth Sound Transitions, is available here as well. This section shows information for the selected slot, the number, slot name, and program combination or song name. The comment is shown in smaller text below. Use the scroll bar on the right to view longer comments, or touch the comment area and drag down to reveal the comment pad. The brightness of the text can be adjusted here, and the size of the font here. To close it, touch the X. 16 slots are displayed at one time. You can use these buttons at the top of the screen to display 8 or 4 slots at one time, allowing more room to display the text, useful for lyrics, for example. These buttons take you to the next or previous group of slots. Other set lists can be selected here. Programs, combinations, or songs can be added to a set list in two ways, either from within the set list or by going to the particular resource and adding it from there. To add it within the set list, first select the desired slot. Go to the Edit tab. Select the type of resource here. Select the program, combi, or song here. Programs and combis can also be selected by category. For songs, you can choose which sequencer track you want to play on the keyboard. The other way to add to a set list is go to the program, combi, or song you want to add. From the page menu, choose Add to Set List. Then choose where you want it inserted. There are many more features that make setlist the ultimate performance tool. For example, a slot can be given any one of 16 colors, making it easier to distinguish between them quickly. Comment text can be added by touching the T. You can type using either the screen or a connected USB QWERTY keyboard. Entering text is fast and easy with features like touch and drag to select text, multiple cut copy clipboards, and adding line feeds, also known as returns. The control surface will retain the control assigned saved with the original resource. For example, if you use a CX3 organ program set to tone adjust for drawbar control, it will keep that assignment when added to the set list. Set list is perfect for performance because Korg listened to the input and suggestions of performing musicians. For example, when you change from one performance venue to the next, you may want to adjust EQ to suit that particular room. So set lists have an additional control surface option not available in the other modes, a 9-band EQ. And finally, on this Edit tab, you can move the slots around using these Cut, copy, paste, and insert commands. Be sure to save your set list before shutting off the Kronos. When you turn off the Kronos, any unsaved edits will be erased.